almost a strike. A lot of bowlers in our state are actually high schoolers, and one local team has bragging rights. The bowlers at Bayport High School were undefeated this season and went all the way to the state championships. Your Howard Swamico neighborhood reporter Katie Shiro talked with a team and their coach while trying to knock over a few pins herself. Connor Ness started bowling at four years old. After watching his parents bowl at Village Lanes and wanting to hold his dad's bowling ball, the sport turned into his passion. I'm in here a lot. It's my second home. Now, he's a freshman at Bayport High School and just finished his first year on their varsity bowling team. This season, the team placed sixth at the state championship. Coach Jerry Polaric said they've made it to state championships every year for the past 25 years, and there's a lot that goes into a season. A lot of people don't think bowling much as a sport uh, at the high school level or college level, but it truly is. Uh, these kids, when you come out and watch, they're, they're true athletes. Uh, they watch what they eat. Yeah, and they just take care of their bodies. He said weekly practice is important and includes spare shooting, ball reaction, lane play, and team camaraderie. And Connor says that he thinks lefties tend to be better bowlers, but this lefty is definitely the exception. But he did say the best way to start is by taking your middle and your ring finger, putting it in the ball, taking a shorter step with your opposite foot, and having good luck and time. Levi Gabriels is also a freshman on the team. This year he placed fifth in singles at States and said his love for the team and sport continues to grow. I love that you can do it your own way. Like if you look around, everyone's doing it differently. But everyone can be equally as good. Bayport is one of nearly 200 high school bowling teams in Wisconsin and they face other local high schools during the October through March season. When we bowl against Pulaski in high school, our concourse is full, people are yelling and screaming. It, it's just uh, in awe. This year, there's 17 guys and one girl on the team, and when the seniors graduate, Jerry said bowling doesn't end there. There's a lot of colleges that give out scholarships for bowling. A lot of people don't know this, but they, they do get full rides for bowling. I've seen some of my kids walk out with eight to $10,000 in scholarship money. But for the Bayport team, Jerry said it's not about scholarships or winning. It's a lifetime sport. It's awesome. If it was easy, everybody would do it. In Howard, Katie Shiro, NBC26. With